hello friends i am pankaj kumar in this tutorial i am going to show you how to analyze a beam with uniformly distributed load and point load so open your ansys mechanical apdl and click on preferences then click on structural click ok now go to preprocessor then click element type then click on add edit delete then click add then here select beam and select 2 node 188 then click ok now close it do not go to real constant while solving the beam problems now go to material properties click on material models click on structural then click on linear then click on elastic then click on isotropic and then type here the value of modulus of elasticity that is 2e5 and then the poisson's ratio that is 0.3 for steel now click okay close this and minimize this now go to sections click on beam then click on common sections and then select in sub type as a rectangular section and then offset to centroid and then provide here width as 200 mm and height as 300 mm now click on preview to preview the cross section of the beam so this is the cross section of the beam now click okay and uh, click here right click and then click on replot to hide this now minimize the section then go to modeling then click on create then click on key points then click on inactive cs so create the four points according to your question so first point is at 0 0 second point is at 2 meter and the third point is at 3 meter and the fourth point is at 4 meter i will draw this uh, distance in mm while drawing in ansys mechanical apdl so go to ansys mechanical apdl click on inactive cs type here 1 and then type here 0 and then click apply type here 2 and then type here 2000 mm that is 2 meter then click apply type here 3 and then type here 3000 mm that is 3 meter now type here 4 and type here 4000 mm and now click okay do not click apply so click okay thus we have get the four points now minimize the key point then click on lines then click on lines then click on straight line now click on point 1 and point 2 to join this and then click on point 2 and point 3 to join this and then click point 4 3 and 4 to join this now click okay now minimize this modeling and then go to meshing then go to size control click on manual size click on global click on size then provide the number of divisions in which you want to divide a line i am going to divide it in 30 parts so click okay now again minimize this and go to mesh click on lines click on box and select the all lines by doing this so click apply and then click okay now minimize this and then go to plot and click on lines so you can clearly see the four point that is first point second point third point and fourth point as it is given in the questions now go to loads click on define loads click on apply click on structural click on displacement then click on key points now again open your question so point a and point b are simply supported and from um, and for 300 meter that is 0 to 300 meter we have udl of 400 newton per meter um, by converting this newton per meter into newton per mm by dividing 1000 we will get 0.4 newton per mm so and the, at point 2 we have 500 newton uh, is load acting in uh, negative y direction so go to ansys mechanical apdl now select first point and second point and click apply then click ux uy uz rotational x rotational y and leave rotational z as it is because the beam has possibility to rotate in z direction now click okay now we have to apply force so click on force slash moment then click on key points now select the second point and then click apply then go to this and then select fy and type here minus 500 newton and now click okay 
and now we have to apply UDL then for this you have to click on pressure then bring down the arrow and then click on beams and then click box and now select the length up to which you have to apply the UDL now I'm going to select this so I have selected this length to confirm the correctness of selection we will go to zoom in zoom in so I have correctly selected the length now zoom out this and click apply and type here 2 and here edge 0 0.4 because 400 Newton per meter is converted into 400 Newton per mm and also click here and type at 0 0.4 this is for UDL that is uniformly distributed load if we have uniformly varying load then we will type here the load acting at first point and the here at lo the load acting at second point but we have UDL so we have type here 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 same now click OK so we have got our loading condition as per the given requirement now we are going to solve this question for solving now click on solution then click on solve then click on current ls then click ok so our solution is done then close it and also close this window and now go to general post, post procedure so click on post procedure since we have to analyze also sft and bmt diagram so we are going to uh, click on element table then click on define table then click on add then go to this column and select by sequence number and type here as 3 then click apply again go to this column and select by sequence number and type here 6 click apply again go to this column and select by sequence number and type here as 16 and click apply again go to this column and select uh, by sequence number and type here as 19 now click ok so we have created four level that is 3, 6, 16 and 19. Mm, this is done for getting BMD and SFT diagram. Combination of 3 and 16 will give BMD diagram and combination of 6 and 19 will give SFT diagram. Now close this and uh, minimize this. Go to plot result. Go to counter plot. Then go to click on line element results. Now select the first that is SIMS3 and the third that is sms 16 to get bmt diagram now click ok so this is the bmt diagram of our beam mm, now again click on line element result and select here sms 6 and in second option select sms 19 and then click ok so this is our sft diagram thus we got sft and bmt diagram now go to plot results and then click on deform shape and then click on deform plus and deform and then click ok so this is the deform shape of the beam you can also view this in isometric view of 3d so for this you have to go here plot controls and then click on style then click on size and shape then click here and on it and click ok so this is the uh, 3d view you have to click here in isometric view then you can clearly view the 3d view of the beam if you want to see the animation of this uh, deform shape then you have to go to plot controls then click on animate then click on deform shape and then click ok so this is the um, deformation of the beam you can see uh, in video now close this and again go to uh, again go to counter plot then go to nodal solution then go to degree of freedom solution and then go to displacement vector sum and then click ok so you can visualize here the displacement vector sum in 3d view if you want to see the stress then again go to nodal solution then click stress and then bring down this tree and click on one minus stress then click ok so you can observe here the how one minus stress is acting now click ok and if you want to see the vector diagram then click vector plot then click on predefined and then click ok so this is the vector plot so in this way you can see the various result if you want to be the actual value of reaction solution then click on list result then go to 
reaction solution then go to all structure force and click ok so this is the value of reaction acting on both things now close this if you want to see the um, displacement vector sum value then click on node solution then go to degree of freedom solution and then click vector sum displacement vector sum and now click ok so you can observe here the value of different displacement vector sum at different points so by doing this you can observe the various result given in the general post procedure thank you for watching please like share and subscribe bye bye